Hi, welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions. I am Dota Krishna Hema, your functional safety expert. So today we would like to deal with SAOOC, safety element out of context in detail and for the most slides. So what exactly is this SCOOC? In our normal terminology, we can call these products as COTS, that is commercial of the shell products. Or we can even call like SCOOC or a software or a hardware element or component which is developed before or not considering design of specific project. Like uh, if you have a car in place or if you have a system in place, a, a particular system in place, then considering without considering that system but assuming that this will go and fit into this particular part of a car kind of so those kind of things are called SEOOC an example uh, for this one is like we will have every software will have we will develop or you know a pre-existing libraries which we are going to integrate into our system or the cards products which we are going to integrate into the system like uh, aftermarket products we can call like in the uh, automotive domain or we can a common um, SEOOC in and, in and around is like microcontrollers okay and uh, the question is like if we don't know the source of the SEOOC element and if you are going to integrate that into our system which is safety um, certified or safety oriented oriented developed developed kind of so then how do we support how do we can support like uh, the seoc maintenance if it is a software then how can we maintain the software if it is a hardware how can we maintain it so if it doesn't know the source of it like uh, we need to maintain it for several years this is the con of it so what are the seoc types so first as like proven in use so in the previous video like you can see the link here in the cards section like above somewhere over the screen and uh, yeah that's a proven in use like which is already developed and which is proven in the market and it which is running um, which is existing in the system or the previous cars and uh, for many many years and we can reuse it into the system so as a summary and uh, uh, we need to have the analytics for the same uh, that it did not cause any harm or you know any threat to the vehicle any hazard to the vehicle or these kind of things we need to consider and the second thing is like developed as per ISO 26262 part 6 that is software part of it but what separates safety life cycle. SEOOC development is based on assumptions, assumptions in requirements, assumptions in target system design. This all together will make SEOOC requirements. So what are these assumptions as per ISO 26262? Item definition to assume that the components with which the system is going to interact or you know we need to consider the system in which it is going to go and fit in or integrate in. Safety goals as the levels and even the FSR functional safety requirements and technical safety requirements. How can we define SL for a SEOOC component? So it is one of the toughest tasks to define SL for SEOOC because we need to consider uh, we can you can easily consider that as SLD because SLD if we consider almost all the requirements will be fulfilled but the cost of SLD component is much more than the lower SA levels and uh, what do we need like to do um, to integrate a COOC into a target system so first thing is we need to conduct impact analysis as per part 8 of ISO 26262 and so after conducting impact analysis if it is acceptable and the safety goal is with respect to uh, the system or system in which it is going to integrate then we need to, no need to take additional action so else if you see some discrepancies if it is not an acceptable then we need to change the item definition or the functional safety concept or um, the changes or we need to make a minor changes in SEOOC element or we need to change the complete SEOOC component itself so 
more what are the pros of SEOOC usage so it saves the certification cost ISO 26262 certification cost through reuse of components or sometimes we don't uh, no need to recertify this SEOOC component and it also allows the suppliers to develop the software and hardware components according to ISO 26262 V model so it's like you know uh, all the suppliers can try the own own set of requirements uh, as I'm as I'm requirements and they can develop a product um, with their own safety life cycle SEOCs can be developed without the actual requirements and SLs uh, so as we said because it is it is based on assumptions requirements so it's like you know there is no need to um, think about like you know uh, or you know not think about it is like you know consider or we can develop without actual requirements so because you know most of the uh, aftermarket products or uh, the commercial of the shelf products are comes into this requirement so uh, if i am having a head unit in place and this head unit can fit into this this much like a normal dimensions i will look into uh, in any car of uh, for the head unit uh, uh, wedge and uh, the groove and uh, we can see like yeah this can fit into these 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 models like whatever is available in the market like most of the models it can fit into or you know if i am uh, developing any any charger um uh, what is it holder or something like that then again i will i will think like you know what is the size or what are the dimensions of uh, that particular uh, like how, what are the dimensions most probable dimensions in and in the car in the existing car market and I will develop a system or the SEOOC component based on the um, most suitable requirement. So this is how it is. So hope you got this concept. If you like this concept, click on the like button. If you want for the more automotive videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.